morning everyone it's an early start to the day today around 7 a.m that's early for us and we've come to a new state here in brazil so yesterday we got on a flight from rio for a hundred and thirty five dollars per person one way and the city that we flew into was the capital of alagoas called maceo and then from there we rented a car for around 19 dollars per day and drove up to the city that we're in right now which is called Maragogi. took about two hours to drive here and right now i'm just in the garden area of the place that we stay in right next to the beach so just after this building here is the beach these palm trees are, are on the beach here we haven't even seen the beach yet and this place was around 37 dollars i think so yeah, it's pretty good pretty big uh, just a simple place only has a fan room but yeah, that was fine last night. The windows are interesting because you have the big window here and then the windows have windows. <laughs> Check that out. So you got like four little windows in the window. And this is the kitchen area. Like I said, it is a pretty simple house, but it has all the stuff we need. Microwave, little toaster thing here, blender. And that's the bathroom. Yeah, so this is the area that we're staying in. Oh, look at the little beach buggy. I think they're really common around here. And yeah, it's just like this, like little sandy dirt roads everywhere. Really doesn't look like a touristy place, does it? No, I was a bit shocked. It's very simple and rough, which is nice at the same time, but... Yeah, because this place is like really popular in Brazil yeah, right in now. Brazil with the Brazilian tourists. Yeah, it's very simple. Yeah, it is. I like it though. We, we love like little beach towns like this. Yeah, so right next to our house, we have the beach access already. So we're, we're in an awesome location here. That looks like a good, good spot to stay. The hammocks. Check that out, that's how the beach vendors do it around here. <laughs> little motorbike. The water must go really up high here, because look at this big wall. Huge wall. This must turn into like one big pool or something. Right next to where we're staying is one of the most popular attractions. I don't know if you can see on this camera, but there's a huge line of people all the way out there. And it's called Caminho de Mosej, the, the Moses Walkway. Carol, it looks like there's about 200 people on the, yeah, the pathway. Yeah, it's not even a weekend, so imagine oh yeah, it's a all weekday. the weekends. It would be crazy, crazy yeah. packed. <laughs> Yes, I don't think I've ever seen as many people as this at 8.30 a.m. on a beach. Just hundreds of people going all the way down there. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Like you said, on a weekday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, this must be absolutely crazy on a, on a weekend. So after about a five minute walk, we have a huge sandbank here. So I think at certain points in the low tide, this sandbank goes all the way to the coast down there. I don't know if the tide's gonna go so low today though, but at least we got this spot here. 
So at first I thought these boats were bringing people out here, but they're they're actually like a bar. barbecue, yeah, bars selling food. So there's loads of them, loads of little boats here selling different things. I think this is about as far as we're gonna walk. We'll probably walk about five more minutes that way, but yeah, it's pretty much the same as all this area that we walked. I think we walked about 15 minutes overall. It doesn't really look like in the photos though, I don't think. No, I'm not sure if it's uh, the day, maybe in some other periods of the year, the water is a bit uh, more clear. And I don't know, or it's just Photoshop that other people do. Yeah, I, th I think the sand is definitely photoshopped in the pictures because it always shows like this pure white Caribbean looking strip. And this isn't pure white sand, it's more like yellow, even kind of black, right, in some areas. So I think that part's photoshopped, I don't know. Still nice though, something different. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's very nice, and different from Brazil or from Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. It's very different. Yeah, this area you're gonna see later on, it is quite different to, to Rio. We're now looking for a place to eat breakfast actually, not even lunch. We haven't even eaten breakfast yet because we needed to get the low tide for the, the pathway. So yeah, we're both starving. So we ended up getting an unusual breakfast because all these places here are restaurants. They don't do breakfast. So they only have like proper meals like fish dishes and stuff. So yeah, I don't think I've ever had a corn for breakfast before <laughs> and a coconut, but that's what we're doing today. How much was the corn? Uh, six reais, but if you want, we wanted it on the cob. That's how yeah, you buy corn it. On the cob. It was five reais, but we prefer like this. Easier to eat. Yeah. Six reais. And then the drinks were uh, five reais each. So there you go. And got an amazing view. So that part with the pathway is really busy, but then pretty much the rest of the beach from what we've seen is just, yeah, really laid back. Not that busy at all. Just everybody stays at that part there. The ground here is actually really hard. It almost seems like clay. So you can see people are biking around here. Good place to rent a bike, go uh, beach hopping by bicycle. It's not sandy at all. They go motorbike as well. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of similar to Holbosch, remember in Mexico. Yeah, Holbosch in Mexico yeah, is like the, this part. the water is kind of similar, the color, and also the, the sand is like this. Yeah. Very beautiful as well. Yeah, Holbosch was our favorite island in Mexico. We're just heading up the coast now, trying to find a nice spot. This part already looks awesome because you have the coconut trees all over the place. 
water looks even more beautiful now. Yeah, it's, it's awesome now that the sun is heating. Yeah, yeah, now it looks really nice. So people often say this is the Caribbean of Brazil. Brazil, yeah, <laughs> because of the, I guess the color of the water. Yeah, the color of the water and also the coconut trees. Because in Rio, we don't really have, um, well, we have places with that color, like yeah. Arraial do Cabo, Cabo the, Frio. The vegetation is different. It's more like dry and there are cactus. It's not uh, like this with co uh, coconut trees all, all around. Yeah, yeah, we don't have this in Rio, the coconut trees. It really does look like the Caribbean here. Amazing. Since it's so hot. Another one. Yeah, we had to get another one. Five AIs again, right? Yeah, think right. Yeah. And this part is a popular beach called Antunes. A bit busier because a lot of the boat tours stop here. So we're just gonna head to an emptier part right here. They also have restaurants and stuff here. Yeah, boat tours are popular here, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, there are many boats and maybe tomorrow we're going to do one. Yeah, we're going to do uh, one. Natural pool. Natural pool, the uh, coral reef. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's just out there, you can actually see the barrier. I think this is going to be our spot. Yeah, oh, actually our spot is going to be there. Yeah, our <laughs> spot's going to be inside there. Caribbean temperature. Yeah, it is. No. That's, that's way different to Rio. Yeah, Rio, the water is very cold. Yeah, sometimes it's ice cold there, right? Yeah, but here it's perfect. Yeah, it is perfect. Yeah, I didn't know that even the water temperature was like the Caribbean. Is it like that in the northeast everywhere then? Warmer? Pretty much. Yeah? Pretty much. Even going up further? Yeah. Well, you get closer to the Caribbean. Caribbean. Yeah, that's probably why. So some of you are probably wondering what happened to my forehead. I have the, the band-aid, right? The plasters. So um, I went into the room the other day to get something for Carol in one of the drawers in our bedroom. And uh, I didn't realize the, the ceiling fan was on. <laughs> so I, I went to stand up and then the ceiling fan just sliced my, my head open. Like three different spots. Pretty deep actually. I probably should have got stitches for the one at the bottom but it was late and I couldn't be bothered going to the hospital and yeah, it's healing okay, but probably not a good idea to go underwater. But tomorrow was a snorkeling tour, I think. So yeah, I think I'll just go for it. So this beach that we're at is called Praia da Barra Grande and Barra Grande is the neighborhood, the area that we're staying in. So I think it's a good area to stay in if you come into Maragogi because the center of Maragogi is actually quite a bit further down there, but Baja Grande is where you have the pathway, the Moses pathway, and it's also where you do the boat tours from. So yeah, a really good location and a beautiful place to stay.
So we were planning to head to a beach down there. Well, we still are, but we thought we could walk along the beach to it. But as you can see, the tides come up now. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to go to the road or something. Yeah, find a, an alleyway. Yeah, I think there's one here. And there's some beach clubs at this part. Check it out. Some pretty cool places to chill out. Where's the Moses Trail? It was around here, right? I don't know. I have no idea. I yeah. can't see any. No, it's around there because that's where we're staying. Ah, okay. So it's over there, but now, now there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing at all. So it really is only at low tide. Absolutely nothing at high tide. Yeah, the streets in this place are completely different to anywhere that I've been in Brazil so far. It's really cool. All these little colorful houses everywhere. Very quiet though. It's like a deserted town. There you got the acai store. <laughs> a big store just for acai. That's a big acai store, isn't it? Yeah. Usually it's just a little stall. Yeah, but there are many things like tapioca. Oh ah, yeah. Mishtru. Right. Have you been to the Nordesh trip before? Yes, I've been to Maceió, but only Maceió. And Bahia, some places in Bahia as well. But like, I don't know, 10 years ago. Ah, okay. But no, never Maragogi. No, also Sergi because part of my family is from there, from my mom's my mom's side. Ah, okay. Sergi as well. Sergi. There's a little beach buggy. <laughs> I want a beach buggy, Carol. Yeah, that would be fun. You can rent them, I think. Yeah, I think it's 300 reais. Uh, 300 reais. <laughs> For, for like, I don't know, uh, a group of people doesn't. So if we go, or the two of us, we, we also have to pay 300. Yeah. Uh, okay, so kind of expensive just for two people. For two people, yeah. yeah. found this little beach here. I think it's still part of Baja Grande. It's just a part that's cut off because of the high tide. So it ends up almost being a different beach. We don't even know where we're going, right? <laughs> no, we're just going. Just walking. Going with the flow. Yeah, see what we find. I don't know if we can pass here though. We'll see. Looks like there's a spot to eat here though. A churrascaria. That's a Brazilian barbecue place. 24 hey is 90 per kilo self service yeah I've got a feeling this is a, a dead end well for walking it is anyway have to jump in time to swim yeah, well we have the, the wet bag but I don't think we're going no I don't think so yeah, look at this, it's almost a deserted beach. Goes all the way down. So we found this other little beach that's cut off because of the tide as well. Really tiny one. And there's loads of like beach clubs, restaurant here. So I think we're gonna eat at this place right here. Restaurant down here as well. Yeah. So we're gonna get this uh, fish dish here. Peixe em posta com fritas. Just fish and uh, fries. That's 59 reais. And also Kalajinho G fish, which is eight eyes. Is Kalajinho like a soup? Yeah. Fish soup? Yeah. Okay, let's see how that is. So I got this uh, juice as well that's very popular in Brazil called uh, Caju, which is cashew, the fruit of the cashew nut. I actually made this juice in the Philippines from the cashew trees there. This one's a bit different though. I think they put a bit of milk in it. Really tasty though.
place now. We ended up just walking around town and uh, yeah, we did a bit of grocery shopping for our breakfast tomorrow morning. We think that we're probably not in the main area where all the tourists stay because we really don't see any tourists. Like right now we walked around trying to find supermarkets and stuff and yeah, we just don't really see any other tourists. I don't mean foreigners like me, I mean even uh, Brazilian tourists pretty much. Everybody here is Brazilian tourists from other places, but yeah, we don't see them. So maybe this neighborhood that we stay in, Barra Grande, isn't really the touristy one because yeah, it's just us and loads of locals around here. But yeah, pretty nice seeing uh, like the w local way of life, I guess. And the breakfast that we got, this was around 24 hay eyes overall. I just got some oatmeal, got some milk here, and Carol got some Nesquik. What are these, some sort of crackers? and some chamomile tea. And from another place I got these bananas for three guys. Loads of big bananas. I'll put that in my oatmeal in the morning. So the plan for the next video is to do the boat tour that we mentioned before. We went to book it now, but none of the guys were at the beach. And one of the ladies just told us that you just appear on the beach in the morning, kind of early, and yeah, somebody will take you there. So if you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video.